Hey gents, Carl here with Tactical Rifleman. We're gonna talk about one of the um, hottest topics on the internet right now, and that's the 300 blackout. We got some FBI ballistic gelatin, and we're gonna compare the uh, nine millimeter Sig Sauer MPX against the 300 blackout. Uh, this particular upper is made by Tactical Solutions. Very, very sexy guns, both of them awesome. Uh, as far as ammo, everybody out there is gonna say one projectile's uh, better than the other. We could have adjusted this test by doing one versus the other. Yeah, fine. Yeah, you can say that all day long. So we're gonna use what, uh, what the military is basically using. So we're running one 15 grain nine millimeter and we're gonna put it against the new uh, Lehigh Defense uh, Controlled Chaos. In this case, 110 grain. Bunch of different companies loading them. Uh, I hand load them. It's great, great ammo. It's really cool. Uh, expands awesome. And now uh, we're gonna we're gonna go out and we're gonna shoot these things. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> so we've shot both of these blocks with these uh, with these guns. I want to start with the with the nine millimeter. Now, we actually shot this block five times. Right? First one, you, you you do get your usual secondary cavitation. It's within the limits where we want it. All right, ten to fifteen inches. It be within within that chest cavity of that human being. But uh, brothers, there's five tracks through this block and you see, yeah, okay, we got a little bit of damage. We got what the military is used to getting shooting that ball ammo overseas through those MP5 SDs that we've had to carry for years, right? Good, that, that's the standard. That's what we've been used to seeing, All right? Now fast forward to what, uh, what a lot of new units are looking at, the uh, 300 blackout with the the Lehigh Defense Control Chaos uh, Expanding Ammo. Now you'll notice it looks gold, it looks brass. What it is is it's a milled piece of brass and it's already pre-cut to expand, kind of like uh, I think Bowhorn is with their expanding broadheads uh, or uh, the petals of a flower that opened up. Now, this, this block, gentlemen, has only been shot once. That it entered, immediately expanded. You should see the secondary cavitation and this block just jumping on this table. Think of it as all that energy being delivered right there inside of that human body, right? The, the, the damage that's going to be done from delivering all that energy right there, it's going to be catastrophic to any solid organs at all. Now, the cool part about the expanding uh, control chaos ammo is you'll notice those, those blades or those pedals, uh, they immediately flake off. And where a lot of hunters would say, well, that's bad. No, I I'm here to tell you, each one of those becomes a new projectile delivering an additional wound track through, uh, through that mammal or through that human being that you're shooting. You'll see the different tracks of it. You can see some of the different pedals. And then back here is the base of the bullet. Again, it did not go through the block like our nine mils did. All five of those shots went clear through both blocks. This is a high powered rifle, uh, rifle round. It stayed within 24 inches of ballistic gelatin, roughly. Um, it's completely turned uh, ass backwards here and is pushing flat base through the, through the uh, material here. Devastating effect, great, great shock one single round. So uh, yeah, drag us into the 21st century here. Um, it, between the two, don't get me wrong, uh, the, the MPX is an awesome gun to play with, especially suppressed. And if you want to stick to a nine millimeter, uh, nine millimeter caliber, home defense, great, great gun. Um, if I got to take a gun to a, a gunfight right now, I'm here to tell you I'm, I'm looking at 300 blackout. Now I know all you internet ninjas out there are gonna have 100,000 comments on this. I look forward to reading them. Put them below. Thanks for watching.